not give up for anything. But sometimes the journey is more important than the destination. This was my summer and to date the life defining experience for me. In New Canaan, David Springer, News 12 Connecticut. Sisson says you can still donate to Action Against Hunger through his website, which will also document his trip across the country, and it must have some pretty incredible photos. You can find that at news12.com under numbers and links. And if you'd like to nominate someone as a hometown hero, give us a call at 203-849-1321 or email us at news12ct at news12.com. Taking it to the avenue, where in southwestern Connecticut, these kids will get to show off their soapbox racers this weekend. And in local sports, the high school field hockey season is underway, and one of the area's best programs was in action this afternoon. Highlights from Stamford next on News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. This is News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. The anticipation is building for an event 23 years in the making in Greenwich. Children taking part in the town's first All-American Soapbox Derby since 1985 learned the ins and outs of racing the unique cars Wednesday at the Greenwich Country Day School. Look at these cars. The organizer of the Derby says the event benefits the United Way, but serves more than one purpose. It was such a great concept in terms of bringing families together in a way that isn't done these days, and that is, you know, building a car together. Each company that supports the United Way in Greenwich will have their own team, and the teams have been fine-tuning their cars since they first put them together in June. The Derby will take place Sunday along Greenwich Avenue. You can find more information on the event by visiting our website, news12.com. Just click on Numbers and Links. And now, News 12 Connecticut Sports with Damian Andrew. Hi there, everybody. Southwestern Connecticut is a hotbed for high school field hockey. Two of the better programs in the area squaring off on the first day of the season. Greenwich has won the last, uh, well, five out of the last seven FCAC titles. Stamford is coming off a state championship. The two schools meeting up on uh, Wednesday afternoon in the city that works, the opener for both teams. And Stamford last won an FCAC West title all the way back in 1975. It's been a while. No score midway through the first half, but one of the best players in the conference changes that. Hannah Bowers puts Greenwich up 1-0 with that goal there. More on her in a bit. Later in the first half, the Black Knights answer Maddie McLaughlin to Katie Pape. This was tied at the half. 